Howdy guys and gals, I'm Kyle Broderick. Welcome to The Social Regressive. On the bench today we have my buddy Billy's Remington 597. We're about to go do some squirrel hunting and camping and we we're gonna get this thing a little bit tricked out for that. This is wearing the original plastic stock that came with it and it's actually a, a pretty neat little stock. It has a pretty good hook right here for your hands so it's, it's not really laying back all that much. Get a little bit of vertical going there and it has a, a pretty comfortable forearm but what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with something just a little bit better this is the boyd's barracuda this is a thumb hole stock that has a very generous palm swell right here a much more vertical grip uh, you get this great big hook right here for your hand it just kind of nestles in really tight you can see that it's been lightened quite a bit through the backside here. There's just a lot of material that's been carved out. It has a very organic shape overall. And one of the things that's really wonderful about this, especially if you're going to be running the iron sights, is that you get this Monte Carlo right over here. So yeah, this has a little bit of kind of a, a, an offset to it. It's going to push off just a little bit to the side and it's just going to really fill the whole cheek. This is going to be a very comfortable rifle to shoot. The forearm is quite wide. This is really designed for, uh, I think this is for your silhouette shooters, the, the 22 silhouette guys. Uh, if you're in that competition, it's going to get you a nice broad plane to keep your fingers on. I think this is going to work out really well for our purposes though. And you can see that this, uh, this kind of sky blue color, really cool looking. The first thing we need to do is take the rifle out of its original stock. So I'm just going to drop the magazine to make sure that it stays safe. And then with a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, just loosen these up a little bit. There we go. Here are the two action screws. The front one is shorter and the back is longer. And there we go. The action drops into the new stock straight from the top. Well, that's a nice tight fit. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that's nice. We have run into one slight snag. These screws are just a bit too long. They are about 0 .09 inches too long. I went ahead, did some measurements. Uh, these are bottoming out inside the receiver before uh, they can actually make contact with the uh, the wood down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock off three threads from here and that should get us just enough leeway that we'll have plenty of thread in the action and then we should also snug up against the wood. I have the screw here in the vise. I have about three threads poking up and I'm just going to take a hacksaw here, chop it off. That's a sharp blade. I was actually cutting down into my vise. <laughs> And we can knock that excess material off, get those burrs down with a file. Let's see if that got us close enough. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, I can feel there are plenty of threads down in the action. And it's nice and snug. Since this is uh, laminate wood here, I don't want to torque this down a whole bunch. It, I know that this stuff is tough, but I don't want to be compressing anything too badly. So I'm not really going to crank this puppy down all that much. Plus it's only a 22, so it shouldn't walk out that easily. Okay, aside from shortening up the bolts, that was actually pretty easy. Just two screws 
And that's it. Feels nice and snug in there. This is a wonderfully precise inlet that they did on this action. The barrel is free floated perfectly down here. But yeah, the action itself is snugged up really nicely. This should be a nice precise platform in addition to really comfortable. Some of the thumb holes have a pretty long reach, but mm -hmm. that one looks close. This one looks nice. This one this one feels good. It's maybe just a little little long, but it's it's uh, it it it's not it's it's good. All right, what did you think of shooting this for the first time yesterday? Um, it was really comfortable. Um, the the thumb through the stock was excellent. Um, with the pistol grip, it makes it really easy to get on target, um, and and the cheek rise on it is just perfect. It's impeccable. Yeah, so pretty quick to get like in position. Oh yeah, super comfortable. Um, from carrying around to, I mean, right, right on target. I mean, you're, you're, you're there. It's great. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, the social regressive is on Patreon. So, you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.